Okay, something else that is really important, it is that nowadays we, you, we hear lots of narratives that say, this is how you're supposed to be when you're a man, you're like a mountain, you're like a rock, and, and you have to hold space, and uh, here is how to position yourself as the sacred, um, mature masculine. So, I move a little bit away from that, I have the feeling that there are so many flavors of masculinity, and it's up to you to discover what masculinity means to you. What we're doing right now is walking through the whole palette of possibilities. You can be in your feminine, you can be in your masculine, in your child, in your magician, in your king or in your queen, <laughs> you know. It's like all these different flavors of masculinity are all flavors of masculinity, and you as an embodied man in a masculine body, you can channel whatever is the truth to you. And we are not here to be dogmatic about it you know it doesn't mean that you have to behave like a Viking with a long beard and build up muscles no that's that's only one aspect this is the warrior aspect but you can have the flavors of the the creator and the mystic and the magician and all, all sorts of different qualities that are all masculine so what we do we simply open the doors we open the possibilities we go like how does it feel when you embody that and when you try that and then eventually you figure out your own truth okay we're not here to control your evolution we're just here to help you find your own truth.